Good morning, beautiful people. Hello. I am back from the vlogging dead um, and I'm trying to hold myself accountable. I'm trying to just have fun. I think that's what the goal is. I think the goal with me vlogging now is going to be to do what is easiest for me, what is most sustainable for me, um, and what makes sense and what is fun. So I figured I would vlog today because I have a lot going on. Um, I'm ready to go in my workout clothes. Um, today is a Thursday, which means I normally do cycling, which I'm going to do maybe a little bit extra work depending on time, but I have a lot to do today, tomorrow, this weekend, both for school, content, all of those things. So I figured why not I'd take you through the day and show you. Um, so I'm about to get into a workout, so let's do that. I cannot describe to you how much this this water level how much it hurts me it's first thing in the morning all i want to do is fill up my water bottle and work out in peace but there's barely any water in here so i'm going to spend some time doing that the perks of living with roommates All right, so showered and dressed. Um, this is the part of life after I do my skincare and all that stuff. This is the part of life or part of the day where I post on Instagram stories, just like a mini recap of my morning. So my workout, my skincare highlights, all of those things. Why is my voice, <clears throat> my voice is, you know, doing a little raspy something. Um, but this is the part of the day where I just like have to sit down and just like, post back to back all the things that I've done, kind of like mini story vlogging. Um, follow me on Instagram to see kind of what that looks like. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. So right here, like I literally have all the skincare products that I just used, my sunscreen, or that I'm gonna feature in the video. So my moisturizer, my hyaluronic acid serum, my toner, um, and I post skincare highlights, is a weird angle. I normally post skincare highlights and I post my workouts and sometimes I might do, you know, me pouring water into my bottle or me lighting a candle, things like that, just to, um, you know, give the vibe of self-care. This is a very unflattering angle. This is better, but that's what I'm gonna do right now before I get into work for the day. So I am currently editing what is going to be a reel. Instagram just launched. Um, minute long reels which is really exciting because i had planned on uploading this as an igtv video because it is like a kind of like color correcting 101 video um but now i think i'm going to be able to bring this down to one minute to make it a reel because reels are king and queens these days um so that's what i'm working on and this is just a little snippet of the process of using this camera that i'm currently filming on to make a reel and showing how I color correct. So yeah. facial glow and extraction <laughs> it is starting to rain but there's a czar nearby that i want to check out so i think i'm going to do that but um basically still working on pigmentation um and she recommended i go back and see my dermatologist which i haven't done in a very long time um and said she's going to send me some recommendations for skincare things 
um, to help with this pigmentation, but yeah, time to go to Zara. I did not know this, but Zara fitting rooms are now open. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of trying things on while we're in here. Let's get into it. All right, first up we have this top. Um, it's a nice little satin material, but I'm not really feeling it. Um, it's as tight as it goes in the back. It doesn't go any tighter. Um, so it's a no for me. I like the color though, and I have a dress in a similar color, so I'm probably going to try that on next, or whatever top I have next. No, everything I have next is a dress or whatever, so I'll probably try the dress on next. Okay, so I have the dress on, and it's just a cute little slip. Um, I don't know what's happening in the back. I think something special is supposed to be happening there, but I can't figure out how to tie it. Um, it's really simple and basic. It could be, you know, daytime. It could be honestly for whatever. So I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile just because I really like the color. Um, nothing spectacular, but it's kind of short, but it's a little flexible. I don't know, I don't know. I kind of like it. Um, so I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile for now because I feel like it could look really cute um, with a sleek bun and some heels, yeah. So this dress, the zipper is jammed, so I'm not even gonna try, but I already know I don't want it. I have a ton of white dresses from Zara, um, and I have another dress that's kind of this style, so I don't really, I just don't know, it's not really doing anything for me special, even if it were to zip up, so I'm gonna pass on this. This is definitely a no. Cool, now we have this little lime green number, which is a very cute color. I just don't really think I really care for the actual fit of the clothes, to be honest. The top is a little, a lot difficult to get on, um, but I just don't think I would wear this really. I don't know where I would wear it to, and I don't think I would wear it more than once. Um, pants are a little stretchy material. They're cool. Like, it is what it is, but it's nothing spectacular to me, if I'm being very honest. If I'm being very honest, I think this top would actually look better with like a skirt or something um, than these pants. I don't know. I'm not really feeling anything, so let me try the second set that I have. Alright, I like, like this as a concept, but I just don't like the fit of the pants. Um, I don't know, I like, I like the print. Something different, zebra print, I feel like is making a little something come back or whatever. <coughs> I don't really like the fit of the pants though. So it's kind of making it not not really worth it for me. That's what the back looks like though. I don't know if I could just do this. Back looks like this. Um, yeah. I think this is another. I don't know if the top is cute though, but. I don't want to wear the top if I'm not wearing it with these pants. I would have preferred if these pants were wide leg. Yeah, I definitely don't like the flare. I don't like the flare at all. So, it's a no. So, I really like the style of this dress a lot. This is the back. This is the back. Um, this is a size small though, and it's incredibly short. As in like, my butt is out. <laughs> if I bend over, but I prefer the way the small fits. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's really short. Yeah, there's no way I could do this. I could feel my butt cheek <laughs> right here. Um, so this is going to have to be a no. I could try the medium, but I fear that the medium is going to hang too low or just not fit the way I want it to. So that's unfortunate, but it's probably a no for this dress just off of length. Um, sorry to you. This dress was the first one I picked up. It caught my eyes just being a very basic, um, summer white polo. Why is it zooming in? <laughs> summer white polo dress. Um, and I like it. There's a black option as well, and I feel like since I didn't get, I'm saying no to all of these, that I might pick it up in black as well. Very basic, but I don't know. 
you know, kind of just like, oh, let me just go meet up. It's very form fitting. I also got a small so you can see that. Um, probably would wear different ones, but I like this. Me back home. Um, I'm very tired and kind of feeling a little bit just like weird, tired under the weather. I don't know. All of the above. Um, I had a cup of tea. But um, I have things to do. I have work to do. Um, first things first, I'm actually currently signing up for classes. Um, the deadline is tomorrow at noon and I figured I would just do that now while I still remember. Um, signing up for classes for me is my last year of law school. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm already in a clinic this semester. I'm going to be in the immigrant rights clinic. Um, so I basically like, and that's like seven credits and I think I need like 13 this semester. Um, so that's like more than half of the credits that I need. Um, and I also am on law review, which gives me a credit as well for being on ad board. So that takes me to eight. So I just need like five more credits and I'm taking fed courts. Um, and that's four credits. So I basically just need, let me do the math, seven from clinic, four from fed courts, that's 11. I need two more credits. So I'm looking basically just like what seminar I wanna take. Um, there are a couple of interesting, mm, there actually aren't too many interesting ones. A lot of the interesting ones are in the spring semester. Um, and I'm really, to be honest, quite frankly, looking for an easy thing to do. So yeah, there is a seminar on Native American law. And I remember when I visited Columbia, like after I had gotten in, my tour guide had mentioned that they loved that course. Um, and so I think I'm eyeing that just because I want to do something different. All of the seminars that I've done at Columbia so far have kind of been like related to criminal justice. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm passionate about that as a black person in this country. Um, but sometimes, just sometimes, I either feel like they're underwhelming um, or disappointing because like, I'm just like, ooh, this is still radical enough class for me um, and other times I'm kind of just like I feel like I need this information in a way um, by virtue of my experience by virtue of just being interested in it by virtue of the fact that that's like the angle that I had come to law school on so I figure instead of kind of going into the traditional like criminal justice related seminar that I should just like look at something completely different maybe something when I mentioned the Native American law, maybe something in like copyright or digital media or things like that. Um, but I'm also, to be honest, looking for something that's a very, very low lift um, because I feel like with clinic and fed courts, that's just like enough. And then law review, um, I don't want to put myself in a repeat position of last year where I was just doing too much. So I'm looking for a very, very low lift seminar. Yeah. Yeah, I can't lie to you. None of these courses are doing it for me. There's one, there's a seminar on internet platforms, law and responsibility, but it's not really giving what I want it to give. Like the description is like, should Twitter fact check political tweets? Should Facebook allow politicians to lie in ads? Should Amazon be broken up? And that's not quite the type of internet stuff that I want to look into. Um, so that's not really doing it for me. I think seven. counting up my credits to see there's a seminar on columbia law school and slavery that's only one credit um seven four that takes me to eleven one from larview takes me to twelve and one from that seminar would take me to thirteen so if i wanted to that one could be an option it meets every other week on tuesday so that sounds like a fairly low lift um but it is research based and things like that but it, it's one credit and i feel like that's what i need I might actually rank that higher. I think I'm gonna actually rank rank that. Yeah. Um, because everything else is not really doing it for me. There is a class that is um, access to justice, current issues and challenges. But right, examining structural obstacles that exist, substantive developments. Um, students may visit. New York City courtroom as a part of the class. Structural obstacles that exist and the substantive developments that have increased access to the courts. 
bail and criminal justice reform, LGBTQ rights, access to courts for people with disabilities, and initiatives to achieve racial and economic. There's nothing wrong with it. It just sounds like a lot of the other things that I've done in seminars. So, I don't know, we'll see. So, the last item on the agenda for this evening is law review work. Um, and you're probably like, it's summer vacation. Why do you have work for law review? Law review work never ends. Um, this year, I am a piece editor, um, which basically means that the pieces that go into the publication um, into the journal um, myself and the committee we just like have like a really hands-on we're responsible for that so we're responsible for choosing the pieces we're responsible for editing and like overseeing the production process for two pieces each um, and so currently I am reading through on my iPad a piece from a professor and just going through and making general notes to put in a memo that will go to the author just about things like um for example some of the things we look at are like how well like substantiated how cited it is um how it's structured and organized if it's well structured um if there are just like you know gaps in the reasoning or arguments things like that so that's what i'm doing it's kind of like weird to think about because it's like I'm a law student and I'm, you know, giving feedback to a professor who's been through law school and been through years of teaching and all of that stuff. Um, but I guess it's kind of cool and unique in that way as well. So that's kind of kind of be the rest of my night. I ordered dinner uh, from a local spot just because I was not prepared to cook because I need to get this done. Um, so that's going to come. I'll take a break to watch Love Island. Um, let me know if you're watching Love Island in the comments, uh, specifically the USA one. And then I'm just gonna keep working on this for the rest of the night. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll come back. I'll probably come back just to check in um, later on in the evening. But yeah, I was supposed to go to dinner tonight, but not feeling, I think I mentioned earlier, I'm not really feeling like that well. Um, so I figured I would get this done and then, you know, get to my best self so that I could be outside this weekend. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what time it is, Love Island time. Um, got my little pimple patch on, but dinner is here. Love Island is on. So I think this is where I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks so much for watching this vlog, guys. Hope to be back soon. Peace out.